In this video, we are going to take an in-depth look at two CV investigations based on public procurement data from Spain. To conduct these investigations, we focus on two red flags that often indicate a potential breach of the law in Spain. On the one hand, the splitting of a public contract into several smaller lots in order to avoid going to tender. On the other, the glut of public contracts just below the legally established thresholds, allowing them to be awarded without due regard to procedure. Let's go. In Spain, from January to July 2018, over 5% of minor contracts published on the public sector procurement platform were awarded directly to the same company by the same authority and when added together exceeded the thresholds established to be considered minor contracts for works, goods or services. Failing to comply with the law on public procurement based on the literal word of the law are 1,879 contracts for goods, 3,793 for services and 856 for works, which together add up to some 53 million euros. No more, no less. Let us give you a little context here. According to Spanish law, it was forbidden to sign more than one contract with the same company if, together, this exceeded the stipulated thresholds for minor contracts which is 15 euros for goods and services and 14,000 for works. And we say it was because after we published our investigation, this anti-corruption measure was removed. But what was forbidden then and is still today, what has always been illegal is to divide a major contract into several smaller lots so as to skip the public tender and award the contracts randomly. And what was paid for with these split contracts. Let's look at an example. One of these split contracts paid for the refurbishment of the kitchen at the Saragossa Air Base. The 49,000 euros it cost were split across several contracts, all awarded to the same company. 856 out of 7,240, some 12%, of the contracts for works registered on the platform in the first seven months of 2018 were not awarded a priori in accordance with the law. Together, they total 21 million euros. Of these, almost 2 million were awarded to the same company on almost the same day by Orense County Council across 55 minor contracts for works. Digging further into the procurement details, CBU also discovered that almost 10% of the minor contracts awarded for goods and services are for between 100 euros and one cent below the legal limit in order to be awarded without public tender. That's a bit suspicious, isn't it? Might it be that this is the usual range? No. And this was demonstrated when in March 2018 the limit was lowered from 18,000 to 15,000 euros. Right after this day, the price of many goods and services fell too. An excellent example is the contracts for the maintenance of the ornamental fountains at La Granja de San Ildefonso. Those signed between National Heritage and the company officer in 2017 and 2018 amounted to 17 1,999,99 euros as of April 2019 and with the new thresholds they suspiciously drop to 14,900 euros. The conclusion we came to is that when it comes to public procurement the priority is to save on pa paperwork or hire a specific company adjusting prices to match the limits set in law. The result is that the contracts are awarded for prices that fail to reflect true costs. And secondly, these practices prevent other companies from competing and submitting bids. These are two of the common red flags we come across in public procurement, but there are more. We will tell you all in the next video. Don't miss it.